Now, I want to say a, 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 about five minutes of um, rave uh, about... But, well, bet is, is, is bet, but it's sort of a longer period of time than bet. Um, bet is a technology show for schools, but also universities now. There's a, a, new, a new aspect of it called a head by bet, which has been going, I think, a couple of years, but this will be the first time we'll have seen it. Um, Chris Norton and myself are going to uh, go... It's at the end of the month, last week of, of March. Uh, John's not coming this year, uh, but he'll probably come another year. And in the past, we, we've been, maybe all three of us, but certainly uh, a couple of us. Uh, before that, we used to go to the Gadget Show, but um, that stopped. So it, it, is the, it is the technology as well as the education that interests us. And I, I think it's the widest range of uh, different technologies. So Microsoft, Google, Apple, sometimes there. I think I think they're speaking there. I'm not sure they've got a stand. Um, and Adobe aren't there this year. But there's a there's a very wide range of what's available. Uh, there's always Apple support in, on the stand. So the the conversations there. Are, are unusual in that in that aspect. You d you don't get a computer show with the range of of technology available. Um, but wh what I wanted to say was that the learning technologies show, which is in May, I think has to be considered with it. Um, I mean, this 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 may seem odd for the We Don't Know show. Uh, but it, it really is just things that we don't know. It's things we want to discover. But the um, the thing is that the, the, the adult learning or the uh, vocational aspect, which is what the learning technologies show, which is a different, it's a different organisation uh, organising that, which is why they're not at the same time. But there's the, there is quite a bit of space still at Excel. I don't think either one of them fills it up. Um, but anyway, um, what's, what's happened today, I've come across, there's a, there's a statement from Andreas Scheicher. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but he's, he's education director for the OECD. And it's, if you try, and, try and find this out, and we'll come back to it on the World Show or this show. Um, trying to make it under well under 10 minutes anyway so that it fits with the music um, but look for, for a statement that universities are too comfortable to embrace micro credentials though if you put those words in an OECD something will come up um, and I I've only just seen it this, this morning, but I, I think it's it could be a connection between the two shows because, and also with the MOOC scene, because the the MOOCs are now offering micro credentials. Not, not all of them, but you, you you usually can get a certificate, and they they're organised in ways that build up to some sort of qualification or route to um, degrees or employment. But it it's the is the employment aspect most of the micro credentials are, are looking at. Um, so I think the learning technologies show, certainly um, Coursera are going to be there. And the only business school or academic that I can see is, is HALT, H-U-L-T, their management um, courses. So they're not academic courses. But presumably they've got credentials. I guess they would talk about uh, the way micro credentials could could work with what they offer. Um, but two 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 other things about it. Exeter University. Um, I'm not saying it's too comfortable, but they they are offering degree courses and the student experience and the, the campus is sort of back to normal, I think, after the lockdown. 
I, I still don't know what's happening with the um, got to get try and remember the right name for this it's uh, Education Innovation Institute which whether, whether that looks at uh, digi digital online I, I don't know it's not that's not the only thing it's going to look at but maybe that's included maybe not but it was it was mentioned in the strategy uh, that came out um, a couple of years ago now and I haven't haven't seen anything about about it but um, bun bundling is I think one of the one of the one of the words which is going to come up because this um, OECD take on where the universities are at now does does mention the, the student experience as as a bundle so the accommodation is is kind of built into what's on offer and that's where I think the student accommodation future um, could be considered but there doesn't seem to be anything at all about that there's no theory about what the future demand is going to be if if you know and I think if things did move online maybe the, the residential scale would would be different or mixed up or hybrid or or something and also in unbundling um exeter's uh not not doing music it's not doing chemistry so this whole the whole there is a whole theory about un, unbundling but presumably rebundling as well and um I think I think that's that's enough to go on on about that. I think I'll go back to this CD player.